Dear IAS aspirants, I am Ram Raj, Joint Director, Retired from School Education Department, presenting this video on behalf of Raji Gandhi IAS Academy from Chennai. You may have seen in the newspapers that on 21st September, Gomod Tamil Nadu have declared the coastal areas of Tanjavur and Pudukote in the Park Bay area as Dugang Conservation Reserve. This is the first one of this kind being declared by government in India. Why the government has declared this as Dukang Conservation Reserve? What is its ecological importance? All this we are going to see in this video. This is the first time that an exclusive reserve is being created to safeguard the Dugangs. Exclusive reserve refers to the areas where Dugang population is more. The density of Dugangs are more along the coast of Tanjavur and Pudukotai. Therefore, these areas have been chosen in Park Bay area for that conservation measure. Dugangs are protected under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection 1972. If it is protected under Section 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act, it, is, it refers that it is an endangered species. Endangered species refers to the numbers are coming down, dwindling. That is the problem if it is brought under Section 1 of the 1972 Wildlife Protection Act. It is also punishable if any crime is committed under this act. So this is the Park Bay area. This is Sri Lanka. This is Park Bay. This is Gulf of Manar. Please note the difference between these three. See, this is Bay of Bengal. This is Park State, Park Bay, Gulf of Manar. So this part is Park Bay and this area has been declared as Dugang Conservation Reserve. Just look at the map, then you will understand that the entire coastal area has wide continental shelf. Wide continental shelf. What is meant by continental shelf? The area adjoining the continental continent. This is the continent. Nela. Dinata Udri could in the Pudik Perda, Kanda Thit, Kanda Thadi Vora Thit, the Kanda Thadi Vora Vora Akalamark Burga, Alam Kurindir Kurd, Inga Alamana Pudi, Alam Kurindir Kurd. So Inga Kanda Thit Akalamaka Kurda, Inga Alam Kurindir Kurda, and the Kadalpuzi Mutanda, and the sea grass were Ada is the Kunavu, Anga Mutanda is the Vado. So in Gadiki Nikila sea grass Kadakide, Adanala thinker the Kinaria. Dugang or the Adanala than Namande, Park Bay area on the area on the reserve and declare by government of Tamil Nadu. This is the Park Bay area, another map so to locate the exact area coming along the coast of Tanjavur and Pudukkad districts. Why Park Bay area? Conservation experts say that there are about 240 Dugangs in Park Bay alone. This is the highest density when compared to other Duhang areas of the world. That is the main point. So conservation experts say that there are about 240 Duhangs in this area alone. So the total number of Duhangs worldwide is only 3000. In this we have 240 Duhangs. They too in the Park Bay area alone. In India we have around 300. So when compared to these figures, eh, the density of Dugang is very high in this area. Therefore, the government have declared this as reserve. Dugangs are herbivorous animal living in shallow sea. This we have already discussed. Shallow sea means sea depth should not exceed 6 meters. Depth of the sea in the area should not exceed 6 meters. If it does not exceed 6 meters, Sunlight can freely pass up to 6 meters. If sunlight falls on the ground, naturally grass will grow. That feeds the this herbivorous animal. Therefore, for growth of sea grass, sunlight touching the ground of the ocean is more important. This is already, as I told you, the park by the has wide and the shallow continental shelf. Shallow refers to depth is not very high. Then the sea bedded continental shelf area is less than 6 meters. 
sunlight penetrates into the sea up to 6 meters. Therefore, the floor of the cotton surface gets enough heat, sunlight, heat. Therefore, the grasses grow there, sea grasses grow there, and wherever the sea grass grows, the dugongs live in large numbers. Because of that, Tamil Nadu government has declared this as the threats from humans. So there is a huge demand for dugong and sea grass in East Asia and Southeast Asia area. That is why the animal is illegally transported from India to Southeast Asia and East Asian countries. So it, this is being prevented by an act. This is an act that prevents illegal trading. The Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna. This is the act that prevents international trade of endangered species. Endangered species means species that has been included in Section 1 of 1972 Wildlife Protection Act. Since it is, has been included in that act, it should not be hunted, transported illegally to other countries. That is why it is considered as a crime. United Nations Convention against Transnational Organized Crime. So this is considered as a crime. This The crime is committed by organized gangs. From Tamil Nadu, one gang transported to Southeast Asia, East Asia. From there it is being traded locally by another group. Therefore, international organization that is United Nation has declared as a crime. Of late, wildlife trade has been increasing. That is the problem. Recent confiscation, both in Trichy and Madras airport revealed that there has been increasing illegal trade of these two items, Dukhang and seagrass. Therefore, it is time to act. Therefore, the government have declared this as conservation measure and taking action. Government has taken measures to ban illegal transfer of dugongs and other endangered species from India. World Dugong Day is celebrated on May 28th. It is to create awareness about the importance of dugong in the food chain. There are about 30,000 dugongs all over the world life cycle of dugongs that we have been talking so far. This is the world map shows areas or habitats where you have dugongs. These are the areas. So, much of the area, world area where dugongs live or the habitats of dugongs are mostly found around Indian Ocean area and also in parts of Pacific coast, west coast of the Pacific. Why is it so? Because, as I told you earlier, it is the area where you have shallow low continental shelf. Water temperature is ideal. Depth is little. So, the, all these points lead to dugongs taking shelter in these areas and they have converted those areas to their habitat. This is another area and this is another area of Dugang. So in spite of all this, the problem is that highest density is found here. And we have presented this video for one main purpose that the Tamil Nadu government have declared it as a, as a conservation measure of Dugangs. Therefore, there is a possibility of asking question in group 1, at least in the small question. Therefore, be thorough with the fact and be prepared for that. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.